Okay, some worked examples of percentage questions, starting off with fairly straightforward grade sort of D question. Um, these, these are pretty much, well, seven out of these ten questions are calculator based and three non calculator. They work their way from grade D's up to A star questions. Um, I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible, so I'm not going to do too much explaining, just show you how it's done. Okay, question number one, or the first one, 24 out of 40. Change that to a percentage, we times it by 100, and 24 over 40 times by 100. Whoops, to come out of the fraction before I times by 100, equals 60%. So Adam's got 60%, so Ben is better. Okay, so price of mobile phones, in the sale price decreased by 15%, you could work out 10% and 5% and take them both off. But it's much quicker to just figure out that if you're decreasing by 15% you're actually working 85% out. And when you're working 85% out you are just times it by 0 0.85 which is £57.80. Uh, number of phones sold has increased so what's the percentage increase? So how many is it increased by? Well, it's increased by 28, going from 80 to 108 to 28. And that's uh, out of the original amount, 80. So that's the increase as a fraction. And as a percentage, we just times that by 100. So 28 is the increase out of 80, the original amount, times that by 100. And we get 35%. Okay, 19.5% of the MPs are female, and that's 126 people. Um, so 1% will be 126 divided by 19.5. And we want to find how many male MPs there are, so we're going to do uh, 80.5, which makes the, uh, the rest of the MPs, times by the 1% which is 126 over 19.5 do all that on a calculator you get an answer there which is 520.15 something we really only want the whole number, you can have a whole number of people, so it's 520. Okay, Papa Yi weighs 16.5 kilograms, this is 100% the original weight, so if 150% equals 16.5 kilograms, we want to find its original weight when it was born, which would be 100%, we need to do 16.5 divided by 150 to find 1%, times by 100 gives you 100%. Now if you were doing this without a calculator you wouldn't need to divide by 150. You could get away with uh, working out what 50% was by dividing by 3 and then, t and then times by 2 to get 100%. But as we've got a calculator we can just use the numbers given. Okay, question about emails. Emails are increasing by 2% each each year or each month. So to work out an email sent in May, um, we need to go backwards. So May times by 2% or increase by 2%, which is times by 1.02, gives us our 54 million. So to find our original amount, we need to divide by uh, 1.02. Okay, I could type in 54 million. One, three, one, two, three. Which would give me 
So there's the whole number. Okay, in part B, so that was that was actually three marks for that. In part B, um, which is worth four marks, we need to find out um, the number of texts um, in April. In February, it's 48 million. So to get April, we need to times by the increase, which is 1.047. We're trying to find 104.7 percent, so we times by that. So that's to get from February to March, and then times by again to get to April. So 48 million times by 1.047. I'm just going to use a square because I don't have to times it again, and that would give me 52 six. One eight zero three two. Be very careful when you're writing big numbers down like that. Be careful you check it carefully. So that equals the the um, texts. Now we have this value for the emails in May. Um, we're trying to do it in uh, we're trying to figure out what's happening in April, so we need to divide that fifty two. Uh, nine four one one seven six. Divide that by one point zero two again. To get five one nine. Okay, so there was. So there's less email, so Lucy's correct. Because there's more text. Okay. Um, compound interest, nice standard question, but it's got a slight twist on it. I'm trying to work out what the sports bank invested. So we just think about whatever he invested um, over three years of compound interest, we're going to times by. 5% each year, so that's times by 1.05, times by 1.05, times by 1.05, or in fact um, 1.05 cubed, and that needs to be bigger than £9,000. So if we divide by 1.05 cubed, we'll get the amount it needs to be bigger than. And that's seven 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 four point five three eight three eight seven dot dot dot. So in money terms we're looking at this bit here. So it's gotta be bigger than that value, so we just round it up to the next penny up to make it fifty four. Okay. A nice multiplier question. Population decreases by three percent. What we times them by to work out the new population? New, new um, population. We need to uh, decrease by three percent. So we're working out ninety-seven percent. So we need to times by naught point nine seven. Um, so that was worth one mark. This last bit's worth four marks. If it's going to decrease by 3% each year, um, you're going to give the answer to the nearest 100 for 2009. So that's going to be three years. We're going from 2006 to 2007 to 2008 to 2009. So we're actually doing times and by this 0 0.97 three times. So that's to the power of three. And that gives us six two zero six one dot seven six four. We want to the nearest a hundred. Always read the questions carefully, so we just decide that's gonna be six to two thousand one hundred, the nearest hundred. That rounds up. Okay, so uh this one's a tricky question because you're not given an actual value. You could just start just say there was a hundred mince pies sold um in November. 
and then work out the increases from there. It won't actually matter, but if we do, we'll just the actual percentage increase. So we're starting off in November. So from November to December, we have an increase of 60%. So we times it by 1.6, and then we're going back in January to the November value. So we're actually just undoing what we've done there. So we're dividing by 1.6 times by there to get the increase in December, divide by there to get the decrease back to January. So what we've got to try to figure out is what do we multiply by to divide by 1.6. Um, well that's just the reciprocal of 1.6 because that's how we undo a multiplication of 1.5 times by 1.6. If I times by 1 over 1.6 that takes me back again. So let me get the calculator out. One divided by 1.6 um, gives me a value of 0.625 so that's 62.5 percent is how how much the uh, that's the multiplier so to actually work out how much it's gone down percentage wise we need to work out what's the missing bit from 100 so 100 minus 62.5 is 37.5 percent. Okay, a few non-calculated questions to finish with. So, work that as percentage, nice straightforward question. Got to do a little bit of uh, non-calculated work, so we knock off some zeros, figure out that uh, two, 6 goes into both of those, 7 and 10 times, and that's 70 over 100, which is 70 percent marks. Okay, uh, what's the percentage of boys at the party? So 24 out of 40, that'll give you one mark. Um, let's make it out of 100, so we change that to uh, 6 out of 10 because we divide by 4, top and bottom, and that's going to be 60 out of 100, which is 60% T marks. Five boys and girls are added to this. What's the different? What, what's the new percentage? Is it increased, decreased, or stay the same? So now we've got 29 boys out of 60 people, uh, 50 people, which is the same as 58 out of 100, or 58 percent. So the percentage has decreased. Statement A.